Hi, I'm Denise Gaffney, the Vice President of the Foundation for Monmouth Medical Center Southern Campus. We've partnered with Chlordysis and we wanted to show you exactly the impact the incredible equipment has had on reducing infections for our patients and our staff here at the Medical Center. We thought it would be great to take you on a virtual tour. These devices are ultraviolet light disinfection equipment, so the light is going to emit onto all of the surfaces in the room. I'm Emily Lorkheim, brand manager for Chlordysis. Here at Monmouth South, we have 14 flash bars in the seven operating rooms. Those are ceiling mounted units and those are over the OR beds and stations there. And the plus for that is that it's gonna get those hard to reach areas, things that aren't often clean or easily cleaned. We also have one torch plus, one torch, one lantern and one flash box. That is a stainless steel disinfection chamber with the quartz glass plate, so it'll get 360 degrees of kill on the N95 masks or anything else, things like tablets, laptops, you know, stethoscopes, blood pressure cuffs. So it's multi-purpose because you can just close the door, press the button, and within even 30 seconds, you can get very disinfected items. That saves us from having to buy N95 masks quite often. We can reuse them for a number of times. The torch and the torch plus are placed within a patient room after they're discharged. And then environmental staff places the lantern in the bathroom. So the lantern is pressed, the door is shut. Then once the operator leaves the room, they turn on the torch plus and torch and run those for five minutes. Before ultraviolet light technology was available, you had to rely on housekeeping staff to use things like wipes and sprays to get every single surface and clean it properly. Now with ultraviolet light disinfection, anywhere that the light shines, you'll get kill on it. This equipment is definitely very crucial during COVID, but also things like C. diff, MRSA, other commonly seen hospital acquired infectious diseases. We don't have to think about human error, possibly. We don't have to think about dwell times of chemicals not being there. It'll get it as long as you leave the light on for the proper time. Well, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this virtual tour today. 